Hello, Angel. You're early. We start at 10, uh, 10. So you get about eight minutes to get set up. All right.
Okay, uh, <coughs> Angel, you back? No? All right. Okay, so five more minutes. Wait for him to come back. Give people time to get into the classroom. It is 10 11. Make everybody absent when that expires. Welcome to class, Courtney. All right. Uh, so, Courtney, I'm just doing attendance. I'm going to start setting up your documents. You probably already know what to do. Uh, let's see here. Okay, so let me do the attendance real quick. Um, Alan is not here. Lisa Brown, oh, that's right. Um, they said they might be arriving early. They made a note about that. I just saw that email. Uh, Jacqueline Camacho is not here. Mario Carvajal is not here. It's a new student. Uh, Kylie Childs, not present. Chris Clark, not present. Courtney Dixon is present. Uh, Garcia not present. Ramel Lee not present. Uh, Lockhart not present. Uh, Angelique Llewell Llewellyn not present. Aaliyah Mims not present. Angel is present. Uh, yeah, extra credit for being early. I'm gonna make a note of that. Uh, my name's um here today. I'm sorry. I said Alana is here today. He was just in Miss Lane's class with me. But he's not here now. Mm. Somebody else is coming in the classroom. Let's take a look. Okay. Oh, Aaliyah's made it. Okay. Aaliyah Mims. There's Jacqueline. I just said her name. All right. Aaliyah is now present. Did I get Angel? I think I got Angel. Yeah. Let me recycle this so I can see. Everybody should just be getting your screens uh, up and started for uh, beginning the Google Doc. Thick Pen is absent. Wallace is absent and Worthy's absent. I think that's everybody. Let me check the screens again. Okay, yeah, that's correct. Hmm. Shared office function is not working. SB, you're having a day, aren't you? It's like fussing at me. I'm waiting for the. Okay, all right. I'm gonna say, make sure you save my selections. I don't want no students saying you marked me wrong. All right, so I want to go over a few uh, things, but first we gotta do our norms. So I'm just gonna stop this because. The sooner we get done with our projects or our, our reports, the sooner we can get, you know, to the next class and get on with our day. So um, let me come out of this and I'll put the link to the chat in the chat for the classroom again, in case you didn't get it yesterday. But it is a link that will help you in terms of, you know, surviving this class, right? Because there's videos in there. Uh, there's ways to go back and see what I might have done and, uh, you know, a lot of other things. So. Five academic, no, five basic norms. 
those will last. I think it's to the right resolution. Uh, let's go down the list until we all get a shot. So I'll read the first one. No one has a right to hurt another person. Aaliyah, can you read number two? Education and classroom are safe. Thank you, Ms. Mim. We'll never behave in a way to screen ourselves, our school, our family. Thank you, sir. Courtney, can you read number four? An Excel Academy of Southwest student is always a lady or a gentleman. Jacqueline, can you read number five? Thanks, Courtney. We we'll take part in Excel Academy of Southwest. Thank you. All right, so let's finish it off, everybody. Uh, so I'll read number one. We respect the opinions of others. We respect the coach in the classroom. We're attentive and participate. We have high expectations of ourselves, our peers, and our teachers. Jacqueline? You read number five. <laughs> yeah, give her a chance, Angel. All right, so everybody got participation points. Great job. Uh, we got to jump into today's assignment. Now, I do want to mention that what we're, as, as a staff, are trying to do is make sure you guys survive this quarter, you know, decent. And what that means is it's not the word deficient that we use in townhouse today, meaning you don't have too much to show when you're, it's time to turn into grades. So in order to do that, we're going to, um, at least I am, you have until the end of the quarter to finish up 50% of the work you miss. Now, this is up to you. This is like the last chance because the grade book does close uh, after the quarter ends. Okay, so real quickly, um, let me go open this up. So before I do, I should get you the link, right? Oh, okay. Way to go, Courtney. Let me get this link for you guys. He's on it today. All right. And give you a minute reflection. And let's see what that does. So here you guys go. All right. So in the chat, there's a link. I want you guys to take a moment to click on it to get to the classroom. And we're going to go through the classroom together. So you will be able, always able to keep up in what I'm doing. This will be a one-stop shop for your videos um, and also a way to keep up with what I'm doing in class. All right. So take a moment and get that set up. Do that first because I want you to bookmark it next. Everybody know how to bookmark things? If you don't, you just come to these. Yeah. Jobs. Okay, so bookmark that classroom because you're going to need it later. Uh, when you guys make your own Bitmoji okay. classroom. You said what, Angel? What class? Uh, as you go to the chat, it says Google Slides or something like that. All right, I got it. Okay, open it up. Make sure it works. It works. Cool, cool, cool. All right, so we're going to go through it together, all right? Um, so what I want you to focus on in the classroom, let me stop this. Okay, let me recycle this because it's stuck. There we go. So this is the first landing page, right? This is just about me and I'm gonna go through this as quickly as I can so we can get in today's assignment. Um, I don't know if everybody had the opportunity to go through it. So if you hit present, you will notice that, um, well, it should have come this way. So a few things. If you ever want to know what, where the school is, the hours, or how to contact the school, there's this Bulldog logo down here. We click on that, and it'll take you to pretty much our school, right? So all the programs we offer, you know, I'm trying to get you guys in other programs too, but these are all the programs we offer, right? So that's that Bulldog logo there. And then this here, pretty much, and I can say it's all students because you guys are STEM majors. This takes you to who I am. Now, I've been working in education for about six years now, or maybe seven, can't remember. <laughs> but all together with my industry and um, education background, been in the circuit for about 20 years now. And I suggest students create their own LinkedIn pages. So you can begin developing your resume. Any way you've worked, what you've done for after school projects, start putting it into a LinkedIn profile because it'll help you when you're trying to get a job 
uh, you walk through the door and they're like, okay, what have you done for the past however many years? You can show this and uh, it will give them understanding of what type of employee they're about to hire or not hire. All right, so that is pretty much this mathematical equation, which is the equation of light. Uh, where I got that from, I worked at the government for a short while and um, I ended up being sent to Geneva, Switzerland. So basically uh, the place was uh, Lawrence Livermore in California and then they sent me to CERN. So you'll notice here, if you click on this, you will be taken to uh, CERN's website. Now I'm still connected to them to this day because they, they, you know, you can still do research through them. And I can still sign in and communicate with people around the world. But if you click on this link, it'll take you through pretty much the, the haven for physicists, right? And you guys are physics students. And in all classes, what I'm doing is if you pick an article from this site and you write a two page paper on what you learned from the article, you'll get one quiz score replaced with 100 percent. Now, you got to go to this site and this is the extra credit portion of the classroom. So this is pretty much the Large Hadron Collider, and I studied ELISE, which stands for Large Ion Collision Experiment. There are four detectors there, but this is the one I worked on. If you click on this, you'll get to that site. Up here is just meditation music to calm you. So you can click on that. If you're doing your work, I like to listen to jazz, sometimes listen to this. It, it helps me understand things. Now the classes. You click on me, the, the guy with the white socks on, one of my favorite teams, and um, You'll be in my prep period now. And the prep period is where you will go for videos. Each class period will have like one or two superstars. And those are the people who have the higher scores. You'll be able to next week click on this first period, second period. And depending upon which period you're in, click on that. And it's not activated yet, but you'll be able to see a student's work. Like if they typed up a good report uh, and it, it pretty much got 100% they will pretty much be shown in second or third period, respectively, wherever they are. Okay, so that's just to showcase student works. Uh, let's see here. Aaliyah, can you read from objective down to daily on the screen? Can I go use the bathroom real quick? Yeah, come right on back. Aaliyah, are you there? All right. Uh, what about Jacqueline? Can you see the screen? Oh, Leah's there. I see her mic is on. Yeah, I'm here. Can you read what's on the screen from objective down to daily? Students will be able to complete the evolution in um, in ASB. Hello. All aspirations stem. Students become in class inside. ASB can access all pre-recorded videos of each class. These videos are normally ready to review by 4 p.m. daily. That's 10 points for Ms. Mims, in-class points. And, it, and this is that simple to save some of these grades. You guys got to participate more. All right, so um, let's hear. There's a book on the table. You can click on that, the pencil sharpener. You can, exper you can you know, experiment with a lot of these, but to get back to the original page, you click on this yellow box. It should be one on each slide, right? It'll take you back here. All right, so that's that. Now, I'm going to talk about ESB last in case they got students are on the phone. And I think this will help you if you have the slide saved. You'll be able to thank you, Courtney. That is going to be about 30 to 40 points. I got to go. I got to read through it, Courtney. All right. So you guys, while I'm talking, I'm just introducing all these things. You should be doing what Courtney's doing, putting uh, it in the format that he has. So you want to put the questions in there. And Courtney took both of them. And he put in the chat for you guys. So you want to take that and put it in there. We're going to edit it in a minute. And he also put, so I got to give him like 50 points. He also put the title of today. Inside of that title is our term of the day, instant acceleration. All right, so not review. Review means we're reviewing it because we're about to move on to new concepts next week. But uh, thank you, Mr. Dixon. Uh, everybody start setting your document up. You should be used to it. Let me finish talking about this classroom so you know how to use it. This is computer science right here. And I'll take you to the computer science classroom, CS for all. That's my first peer students. Second period is you guys. SPS stands for the Society or of Physics Students or Sigma Pi Sigma. It's Greek and I'm a member of it. So this is pretty much where you guys will go and this will be your physics classroom. As I introduced yesterday, there are different simulations in here. Each one represents a simulation, even this duck on the ground, so you can play around with it. This atomic reaction, the balloon and the plane. If you click on any of those, it'll take you to some activities. 
I might at the end of the day uh, next week say, hey, do the simulation with the pendulum, uh, you know, or these scales and assign each of you a, a simulation. And you come back and you discuss it as a presentation. So save this slide. Please save it because it's going to help you. It's best to fix your credit assignments next week. All right. So we got that out the way. Edsby. Oh, before I forget, this Google link icon, it, in case you don't know where to go or how to get to a calendar or you can't find a link to a class, you click on that and it'll take you straight to this class. Don't do it now because it's going to remove you from the class and bring you back. But just in case you need it, that's all classes I have uh, this, this link here for. And it goes to the specific classes. Edsby. If I click on Edsby here and it's in all the classes, you'll come to this page. This picture here is not just a picture. You can click on that and it'll take you straight to Edsby. Okay. And this cup with pencils in there, you click on that and it'll give you a video of how to log into Edsby, whether in your cell phone or your computer. All right. So you can read about how to log in. This is usually the format, first name, dot, last name, dot, southwest, and use the password is this. We can change it if you need, but if you forget it, it's going to go back to default. All right, so today's assignment. I think I covered everything about what you need to know going into next week so you can stay organized. What Mr. Dixon was getting us towards. So start a Google document, right? Make sure you're logged in. Go to Google Apps and Docs. All right, so I'm going to start a blank document is what you should be doing. All right. And first things first, you got to name the document. Now, everything I'm doing, I'm going to set a timer. You should have had this part done. So all you need really is just the notes on how to do the problem. If you didn't find them already, hint, hint, it's a review hint, hint, in your notes from last Wednesday. So the same problem from last Wednesday, basically. I'm trying to give you guys a heads up so you can finish this faster and have a great night. Um, so let's go through it. Do now, right? That's what we name our document every day. Try to keep it simple so you can find it in your directory of notes or your lab digital laboratory notebooks, which is becoming your Google Drive. Today's date is the 14th. Man, 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 today's the day the seniors have to take that SAT. And also header, right? So I'm taking care of that. And today's date is the 14th. Put that again, because that's the format. Like, how can I get 100%? Follow the directions to the letter. Uh, the second period. And the URIs are physics with algebra. Students. Okay. All right. Mr. Dixon helped us out already with the actual title. Right. He got points for that. This is all because he knows the process. He went into Edsby, found it, and he put it in the chat. He knows I get some points. Uh, let me zoom in. All right. So now what do we do here? Well, like I said, we got to grab the title that Courtney put in the, the chat for us. So I'm copying that now, and that goes in the center of your document. So put that here. Uh, we're going to center it, and uh, it's review. I shouldn't have did that, but the term, and I'm going to leave that there because you need to know it's a review. We did this already. I'm going to come over, and there's a few things we need, right? First things first, exit slip. And see who knows how to fill this out. You can put in the chat for 15 points if you know what the exit slip is about, like what are the words we're going to use today. I gave you clues a moment ago. Now I'm seeing who's listening. So for 25 points, what is, not for 25 points, for 10 points, if you can put it in the chat, what is the classroom term of the day? Right? Classroom term of the day is what? And then also, what is the word of the day? This is throughout the school. So those two words, if you put it in the chat, you'll get 10 points. If you put one of them, you get, uh, Leah. OK, so what is the term, though? Ah, Courtney stole it from you, Leah. <laughs> you put the title. Courtney got that one already, Miss Mims. All right, instant acceleration. He was listening. She can get the points. You want to give it to her? OK. Instantaneous. 
Appreciate your generosity, sir. Keep up what you're doing. You'll be okay. You turn a little more work. You're going to be all right. So word of the day is, who remembers that? Where is anybody in townhouse? Hmm. There's five points hanging out there that Leah got uh, graciously from Mr. Dixon, but what was what was the word of the day? So when we do not do work on time and we're coming close to the end of class, when the quarter, I should say, something happens. You lack substance. You lack information. And that word was deficient, since nobody wants those five points. Nobody probably remembers. Efficient. One second. There we go. So you need those definitions in there to get the 25 points towards the exit slip today. Okay, so that's yeah, turn all this in by 8 p.m., but that has to be in there with the definitions, not just the words and what I typed. All right, let's keep it moving, right? Courtney also graciously helped us out with a few of the problems. So I think the first problem was this one. Again, you should have as much as I have done because I'm doing it with you guys. I got the students in all periods saying, I don't know what to do. Don't know how you don't know what to do if you see the screen and you just do the same thing. <laughs> all right, so. That's our first question. That's our synchronous problem. Uh, the second problem, I think I edited that. It says 2S. It's supposed to say 2A. Sometimes ESB don't be saving my stuff right. I'm a little frustrated about that. Uh, so let me check and make sure it's correct. We're in physics? Yeah, we're in physics. It is, it is 2A. Okay, so... Okay, so somehow 2S just popped up. That's what I'm saying with this chat feature. You can mess up your notes. So I said, like, all right, I'm putting in the chat what you need. I can't share the document because I don't want y'all copying and pasting too much. Uh, so 2A. You're not learning, but just copying and pasting. That's all the problems. All right, so now we're set up pretty much, right? How about those notes? Hmm? Anybody have notes from the past? So when doing acceleration, if you type in your Google, this is the moment. I'm going to give you about two minutes for you guys to catch up. This is the moment to catch up and also get some points. Who can tell me what the initial notes are from last week, Wednesday, when we did this? So about, let me give you three minutes so you guys can get, at least get this document all the way typed up. But while you're doing that, the first person that can put in the chat how we start this problem off We'll get about 15 points, all right? So take some time, get the document set up, and then also comb through your Google Drive to find when we did this. It can give you 10 points towards your participation or in-class points. It can really help out a lot of these scores if you have it. Teachers call this checking for understanding to see if people are paying attention. So the equation you're looking for is average acceleration. Did we do average acceleration in the past in our notes? I think we did.
Okay, let's see what we're working with now. Um, if we go to the second problem, and I just noticed in the chat, Mr. Dixon helped us out. I'm going to flesh it out some more. Great job, Cordy. He must have found the notes or something. So it, if I take what he put, I'm just going to clean it up so you guys can see it. All right, so let's put this here. And what is this going to become? So we're going to type through this slowly, right? We have this situation that Cordy gave us, right? So thank you, Mr. Dixon. But let's space it out and make it into a math equation because he has a good idea of what it is. But if you had leave it that way, it looks multiplied, right? AV times that. We don't want that. So it's saying average acceleration here that he has is how you rewrite it. AV, the AV part after the capital A is going to subscript. All right, and uh, let's blow this up some more so you can see it. These are your notes that go in the center, by the way. So uh, let's go to 200 so you can see everything. And if you notice, uh, the I has to be subscript, the F has to be subscript. So let's go through and do that. This is all font 10, so that's can't that cannot be viewable. Let's do 12, yeah. So you'll notice I, I gotta take all of these and these are indicators that are in that are relative to the actual uh, variables, so that's going to drop because this is v final, All right? V initial, starting, finish, and you do the same thing for times. So time final, make sure it's subscript. Time initial, make sure it's subscript. So now that looks like an official math calculation. Okay, so just want to make sure that they were like, you, you went to Tyler's class and this is what he lived on? <laughs> no, you will not get me on that. So well, how do we calculate average acceleration? So in parentheses, not in parentheses, the average acceleration is equivalent to the notes you need if you forgot, because he put, he put the shorthand version, but you're gonna need the actual notes. So I'm gonna go through all the steps because this is a recording. And like I say, all videos you can record after 4.30 usually. So just go through if you're missing any notes or I'm, I'm going to cover them again. So you can just watch the video and, uh, you know, recalculate everything. So uh, what is that equal to? Well, change in. We talked about change in, and that's a delta function or a delta symbol. It is Greek for uh, the triangle. Change in what? Change in, for instance, our velocity. That's what the V stands for. It's divided by the change in time. All right, and I put change dash in because those are mathematical operations. And it's velocity, not velocity. And this is time. Time is measured in seconds. So what are all these measured in? All right, that was also part of the notes. Well, average acceleration is measured in meters per second and it's going to be squared. So we're going to raise this because that second, that part, that's not a two. You got to raise it to the power of two. So you go here to subscript, and there you have it. All right. This is equal to our change in velocity, which measured in meters per second. This is divided by the change in time, which is measured only in seconds. All right. So that's the dimensions of measure for acceleration, average acceleration, change of velocity, and change in time. Now we have to move on and um, talk about the delta part because this is where the VF and the VI and the TF and the TI, where they come from and how they are always gonna be seen when you do math, especially when you do slopes, line calculation, graph calculation, just, it comes in there. You just don't see it behind the scenes. You guys see all the little images on the screen. There are many calculations behind it to make it viewable for you. All right. so. Average acceleration is equal to what mathematically before we got to this step? Take this and go one step that's missing. Okay, and that's equal to what? Well, like I said, it's delta for change in. So to make a delta symbol or any math symbol, you go to insert special characters, that omega symbol there. And uh, we're going to come to this thing called arrows. Click on this and go to math. Once you do that, it'll give you, it takes a moment, it'll give you a listing of all the symbols it has. You don't want to search through all these. So just type what I, uh, what I called it. It's D-E-L, click in here first, D-E-L-T-A, 
and I can click on this one here. All right. So when I clicked on it, it should have popped the Delta symbol and it did. And that's going to be for our V. So Delta V change in velocity divided by these changing again. So I'm just going to copy this Delta symbol and come over here, change in time. All right. So now that's what it means. The deltas mean this part here, right? One moment, please. I am so sorry. Okay, so let me scroll down. We have all these values. Now we need basically our known and unknown values. So known values are here. Come over. Unknown values are here. Okay. So what do we know about the problem, right? That's the first question you would ask yourself after you figure out what the tools are. And these are the tools you're going to use to solve the problem. So, all right, let's take it from the problem what the problem gave us. And it's our unknown values. So I'll read the problem again because I think we went over this in, in 1043. So I want to make sure you have enough time to digest it, type it, ask questions, and then understand that the second problem is pretty much a redo, but with different numbers. I keep saying you guys have been like turning in half the work. Don't get half the work when it's easy to do. Um, so airplane to reach its takeoff speed is 84 meters per second. Meters per second is a velocity. All right. So velocity, and I'm moving a little quick, but if I'm moving too fast, let me know because I can slow down. But bear in mind, I'm trying to get you at least five minutes early. I know sitting at the screen, it could be long and enduring. That's why I try to let y'all go five minutes early. I'm, I'm a parent first, so I understand how that can be. Um, so velocity is, you know, uh, talked about as delta V, but we have to use it in terms of this because I want you to have an understanding of what's inside of delta. So to understand this, it says take all speed, right? And it starts from rest. If it starts from rest, those are two key things. So what starts at rest is usually zero. Kind of like what Courtney was doing, he was laying down, he was at rest. So his speed initially, VI, or the car speed initially was zero. So I'm gonna take this VI put it here and then format change this back all right and that's equal to what well um, did it do that it did it I can worry about it right now but it was what zero meters per second all right and then next we have VF and then VF I'm talking about this equation here is all I'm picking apart so VF was this one inside of the delta function. Now here, and my VF was the speed we just talked about. It's over. Uh, make sure I turn this off. Let's see, it's not the right way. There it goes. And that's equal to what they said earlier, and that was uh, 84 meters per second. So far, so good. We're, we're pretty much wrapping the problem up. We got to still do our times, right? Because uh, the problem gave us that. It gave us a time frame if you didn't notice. So it says, well, no, we're looking for time. See here? So how much time? So we got to slow down and read the problem. They gave us acceleration. So AAV goes in our known values too. So I'm going to take AAV equals, and this is the problem where we got to do a little bit of algebra or algebra. This is an algebra joke. I don't know if anybody remembers it. I can provide 20 points for anybody that can say it accurately. Uh, let's see here. So what was the average acceleration? 6.79 meters per second squared. Okay, let's take that. And it's not written that way. I prefer you to write it this way, where the 2 is raised to a power. So format, text, and I hope you guys are keeping up because in a minute we're going to share out. So don't don't get caught off guard like, oh, I, I didn't know. You know what I do every day. 
Um, when we're doing this equation, the easiest way to handle this when we're doing algebra is not to take the TF minus TI around with algebra, is to use this. So I'm going to rewrite the equation in a way that will help you guys out. And all I'm going to do is, let's see here, we're going to take this part, right? Uh, we got VF, VF, and, and AV, but we're going to use delta T. So let's take uh, this part, not that part, and replace it with delta T on the bottom. Come down one. And it's giving you a shortcut so you're not carrying TF and TI around when you're manipulating this. I don't want to get confusing. And I'm going to take delta T, and this still represents TF and TI. All right, cool. So this is the equation we're going to use in our next steps. So what is it asking for? Well, you know, like I said, we're going to find delta T, which is time, the change in time. That's going to be equal to some number, and if you don't remember, seconds. Okay. So looking good, again, strategy. Let's do some algebra and finish this problem off. Strategy is uh, basically, let's say clean with that strategy. Solve for, let's spell strategy right, oops, no. Solve for uh, the delta T, right? Down here, using algebra. All right, so what do I mean by that? Let's take this equation and use some algebra to solve for uh, the change in time. Bring this over. All right, cool. So how do we get it? Well, let's put it on our workbench and use some algebra on it. We want to get delta T all by itself. So let me put this here. And to do that, you first have to get out the denominator because uh, VF minus VI is dividing delta T or being divided by delta T. So to do that, we put all this in parentheses. Okay. Make sure I stay consistent. No, I don't want to link. Goodness gracious. No. I clicked on the wrong thing. Uh, this is what I wanted. And then I, I provided another set of parentheses over here I want this whole fraction to be changed by a multiplication procedure. And that's basically all I'm doing. I'm you know, I'm doing the opposite of what's occurring in the problem. So now I will say a delta T will be multiplied on both sides of the equation. Those parentheses. And these are the changes so far. All right. So you'll know and you can see visibly what, what's going on there. Okay. So those are the changes I made to it. Now we're going to move to the next step, whereas you got to, and don't forget what you do to one side, you got to do to the other. So I'll take this over here, here, parentheses, and this part is going to multiply it by delta T. The things will clean up in the next step because things will cancel out, right? What cancels out? Well, all of this with delta T is now gone. Make sure I strike that out. Uh, this part is also gone too. And we got a whole new equation. But we still have delta T by itself. So we can say this is all gone, right? And this portion is gone. And if you don't understand, just look at the above step. But we now have a unique situation where you know, delta T is still not by itself. All right, so how do I do that? Well, the only last step you got to do, and it's called a two-step algebra problem, is now get rid of average acceleration connected to the delta T. Since it's being multiplied, all we need to do really is let's put this all in parentheses, right? And the reason I'm doing that is because I want to divide it by average acceleration. So that average acceleration cancels out. Put this in a different color so you see the color changes. All right. And now I'm going to divide by average acceleration. So that'll be divided by, I'm going to take the average acceleration here. 
that's what I want to divide out to cancel it on that side of the equation and leave time by itself. There you have it. Okay, but what you do to one side, and you guys are used to me saying that, especially in physics with algebra, because there's a lot of algebra in this course. What you do to one side, that's the harder algebra you got to do to the other. Okay, so let's mark that off as a change, and then it has to go over here as well. Okay. Oh, so a few things. Uh, the new equation, let's cancel out and clean it up so we can finish off. Because we're coming close to the end of class. Uh, this will be, and then we're going to do a share out. So I hope you guys have been keeping up because uh, I need you to share your screens. These in-class points really help. So this is going to stay the same over here. But over here, this goes away, right? And this goes away because they cancel each other out. All right, let's rewrite the equation. What does it look like now? It looks like we have what we need to finish this problem off. So what cleans it up is this now is gone. And this portion is now gone. That's your new equation. And we now have our change in time. So let's finish it off. We just got to put our values in, right? So what is that going to be? Well, we go up to our, unknown, our known and unknown values. We know our initial velocity was 0 and final was 84. So we're going to say that is, let's move this out the way, 84, and it's going to be m slash s. I'm just writing it small so you guys can, you know, fit it all in there. And that means meters per second, and this will be zero meters per second. And I'm taking this straight from our knowns earlier. Okay. Lastly, uh, this part is just going to become the 6.79, that's our average acceleration, uh, meters per second squared. around this because it all goes together and then we just got to clean it up and we're done with the problem really so how do we do it well we'll come down one and show you what cancels out uh, we know that um, zero meters per second it, it's not important but when you go through the problems I might give you a starting reference and it won't be zero so you still have to do the math and these are considered like terms meters per second meters per second you combine them so we're not worried about that anymore because that's just going to leave a meters per second, the 84. Cross that out. All right, now what about this meters per second here and this meters per second uh, squared on the bottom? Well, here's what happens. You have meters per second. It's known as an inverse fraction. It'll go to the numerator, and meters will cancel, right? So this meter here will cancel. And this meter here will cancel. This meters divided by meters is one. If you're following, and if, you, know, you have access to the video. But what will happen is this second is still in the denominator, or the bottom of the fraction. So we'll change this to just seconds and leave only seconds. So in essence, all of this will pretty much cross out and leave only seconds. Okay, so it's gone, that's gone, that's gone, that's gone too. And on the outside of it, you will only end up with just seconds. So, all right, let's rewrite the equation and finish it off by calculating it. It's 1055, we're doing good on time. Hope you guys are ready to share so you can leave a little early. All right, so this is gone, because okay, it canceled with the other section. And, of course, this part is gone. Now we have a new calculation that we can do. The final answer is going to be what? This is where you use your symbol lab, right? Or math papa, or whichever tool you use Google to. So let's take a look. How, what could it possibly be? So if I type in math papa, because I know some people use cell phones, I'll take you to this free site, and uh, you can go to the calculator, I think, the algebra calculator. Let me grab this and put this in the chat for you. All right. So now, um, if I put in this calculation, that's going to be, what, 84 
I hit the division button, and there's going to be 6.79, right? I hit enter. The answer says it's 12.37. So the final answer is 12.37 seconds. All right. So that's the end of the problem. We we did pretty good. It's 1057. Class ends at 1110. Uh, give you guys five minutes to take more notes or get it ready to present. Uh, this is part of the M class participation points, but this is the final answer. Okay, you got to have all that. Do remember that the second problem or the homework problem is similar. Okay, so five minutes. I'll be sitting here waiting uh, for you guys to ask questions or at the end of the five minutes, share out. Jacqueline left. I need to see what she was doing. Dang. And the angel has not come back. Aliyah, are you there? Did I lose you guys? Courtney, you back? Let's see, his camera's moving. Okay. Did you guys get all the notes? All right, I'll just check in the four minutes and see how much I got done. I hope he comes back.
Okay, so this was some share out time. Um, Ali, are you there? Miss Mims? Oh, okay, a lot of people left early. Mm. All right, well, all I wanted to say was uh, there's a GGI link in there. Um, please take advantage of it. See you in GGI. Mr. Tyler. Oh, hey, Alia. My bad. Um, what I was going to say, I don't know how to put the Delta sign. Oh, cool. All right, so that's easy. Um, you click on insert, Leah. Do you see my screen or no? Yeah, I see it. Okay. You come down to special characters. Mm -hmm. And once you click on that, it opens a menu. You click on math. Make sure to select for math. Okay. And type D-E-L-D-A for Delta. Okay. All right. You click on one of those, and it should pop up once you click on the one you select. Does that help? Yeah. Okay. All right. All right, so can you share out what you did so far so I can let you go a little earlier? Because we're here till 1110, but if you got something to share, it'll help you in class points and uh, allow you to leave a little early. I only got the um. The what? What happened to my Google Doc? It's not pulling up my Google Docs that I had. I guess it deleted. No, don't say that. Um, did you throw it in the trash? No. So, okay. You trying to do all that from that phone. You probably can see a lot more on your computer, Leah. But I don't think I you... Do it, oh, okay. So, <laughs> let's see here. Are you in your Google Drive? Uh-huh. Okay. What Did you name your document? I don't think so. You say what? I don't think so. That's probably why you can't find it. It's probably untitled. Find one that has the most recent... Um, I want to say uh, it shows you, a, you got a recents folder, right? In Google? Let me see. If you look to the side, it says recent. So I'm going to show you my screen. Um, inside of my Google Drive and all Google Drives, the thing you last worked on is in your recent section. <clears throat> so real quick, let's go through this. If I'm in Drive, this icon here, Leah, uh, come over to this left-hand pane, and you see this recent, it's like a little clock. Okay. And if you click on that, it should show what you worked on recently. Like mine's did. You look at the times. Any success? No. Only oh. yesterday. So you, you totally deleted the document? I think so. All right. Well, just be sure. It might be in a different Google. I mean, Google user uh, things you got. A lot. Yeah. So check those drives, too. Because <laughs> you might have been opened up under a different profile name. That's why I tell you guys, make sure you're in the one you need and start a class. But go through and find it. Look at the video and just try to finish up. But it's 11.07, and I want you to have time before GGI starts. You get the link? Yeah. All right. Well, I'll see you in the next period. I got you. Don't disappear. Got one more period with you. All right. All right.